um, went into the room and she'd passed away in the middle of the night um, uh, pulmonary aspirated in our sleep um, which is where the stomach contents go into the lungs it doesn't get as far as here so she didn't choke um, into our lungs and slowly stopped her from breathing as she was asleep that, that night mm -hmm. Um, so the advice, well, I mean, it, it's so difficult, isn't it? Because even as a parent myself, before this happened with Megan, um, it was like, you just did what you did when you were young and it followed through the family and, you know, if they've been sick or if they're a bit drunk, you put them to bed, you know, and that's how it, how, how it, how it went. So yeah, so I would say leave it as long as possible if your child doesn't want to, great. Um, Certainly not before the age of, of 15, 16. Um, and also, it's not just about the consequences of, of, of death, I suppose. It's also about, it's an addiction and it, you know, it's something that you can become addicted to. Um, and obviously, we all want the best for our children, don't we? The younger, the start drinking, um, the, you know, the, the, the more time that they've got to become addicted to it so um just just and be honest and open with them and you know talk to them about it and tell them about your experiences your bad experiences of it because i think they see it and they think that everything's rosy and because it's legal it's fine and it's good and it's it's not it's dangerous and it's it's a it's basically a poison that you're putting into your own body So yeah, so everything's changed for us. Um, but it's took losing Megan for that to change. And as a parent, I always thought that if I provided it for her and kept an eye on her and she was in a safe environment rather than in the park or, you know, in the in the woods somewhere or getting a hold of anything and everything um it was safer um and i'm kind of uh, i'm in two minds obviously i don't think i'm gonna ever have that with my my younger ones because of the experiences they've been through and um, with it um but it's it's a difficult one and there's a lot of advice out there now um which obviously what's being produced um you know guidelines and um, just look it up and follow it. So I just want to get the message out there that, you know, um, that this can happen and it, it did happen. It has happened to me and our family and it's, it's totally, it's totally, it's totally broke, broke with, um, with, you know, it's nearly five years. She would look different now, you know, and, um, and I think um, talking around the dangers of what can happen, um, you know, being sick and things, um, that would probably be my my message if you if you youngster, your teenager is wanting to do it, you know, tell them about Megan, tell them what happened to Megan, you know, and you know, she was here, she was real, you know, and this happened to her, and she wasn't by any means intoxicated. Just be aware and of the of the dangers and make them aware.